Hello and welcome back to 5-Minute Photo. I'm Bill Ferris. Now, of course, my goal with this video is in the next five minutes, I want to share tips or information to help you get more enjoyment from your photography. And in this video, I'm going to review the Tamron 24-70 f2.8 DIVC USD wide-angle zoom lens. This is a lens I've owned for about seven months. I purchased it for my Nikon D600 camera body. And the two biggest selling points that led me to make the decision to go with this lens were number one, the reviews that I read online while researching information about the lens indicated that its performance was on par with the Nikon equivalent, the 24 to 70 f 2.8 G lens. And the second big selling point is that priced at about $1,299 US through B&H, Adorama, other reputable online retailers, this lens costs several hundred dollars, about five to six hundred dollars, depending on where you purchase from, uh, less than that Nikon equivalent 24 to 70. And so I uh, have been using this lens now for about seven months, have taken just about 2,400 exposures with it. And so I'd like to share with you my thoughts on this lens, its performance, build quality, and value. Now, while many reviews will compare lenses performance under controlled conditions and those are very interesting i enjoy watching those myself and watched several of them when uh, making the decision to get this lens uh, in this review i'm going to get right to the photographs after all it is the photographs that are the bottom line does the lens help you to realize your vision for what a great photograph should be so let's take a look at some pictures in this series of photos, you're going to see a collection of landscape images uh, shot mostly in the U.S. Southwest uh, near where I live in northern Arizona, and also some photographs from my niece's wedding from earlier this year. And with respect to the landscapes, uh, several of those are shot or were shot on a tripod. However, the photographs shot in the Slot Canyon, and that's Antelope Canyon near Page, Arizona. Those photos were all taken handheld. And if you've been to Antelope Canyon, then you know it's a narrow, confined space, dim lighting, gorgeous lighting, but dim nevertheless. And so shooting handheld uh, requires uh, both a lot of your camera body as well as of your lens. And so I was shooting with the D600, at ISOs between about 5,000 and 6,400 uh, and was using an aperture of about f5.6 with this lens and uh, what can I say? Now I think this uh, Tamron lens has performed like a champ. The build quality is excellent. It's a solid lens. Uh, you can use it in uh, adverse weather conditions and it'll keep performing for you. The autofocus is fast and quiet. The vibration control or vibration correction is accurate and reliable. And uh, again, at f2.8 wide open, you're going to get extremely high image quality, wonderful portrait lens, good for landscapes as well. So if you are in the market for a wide angle uh, zoom lens, something that can be used for portraiture and for landscapes, and you're a Nikon owner or a Canon owner, I would encourage you to give the Tamron 24-70 f2.8 DI VCUSD zoom lens serious consideration. And if you happen to shoot with this lens and you'd like to share your comments, feel free to, to post a comment and share your experiences on my YouTube page. Well, thank you very much for watching. I'm Bill Ferris. And I'll see you next time on 5-Minute Photo.